All right, so you want to level up your traders in Ghost of Tabor. I'm going to show you my personal methods and what has worked for me. Uh, currently, I'm level 4 Spectre, almost level 4 Minty. So the basic concept of how the traders work is you level up their reputation by doing missions for that person. So you can see all these missions for Spectre or any trader that you want. And then once you hit that reputation requirement, you also have to either sell or spend this amount of money in order to get that next level. You can see here I have the reputation for Minty, but I need to spend another $400,000 or sell stuff to Minty worth that much. You can even buy stuff from that trader and then sell it right back to them. You're obviously going to have a net loss, but you'll get your Aruna requirement so it's kind of worth it if you actually travel to the tabor market you'll see all the different traders you probably know that already uh merchant of death sells nothing so he don't want to level him up the traders you should start to level up first is specter minty and then shiro ammunition to craft different ammos you can start leveling up the hospital afterwards if you want you can unlock some more food items you can unlock one shot energy code time at checkout 10 percent off and you can unlock some of these different water bottles and energy drinks and stuff like that but keep that as a last priority you don't need any of that stuff off the bat and with Minty, you probably only want to level them up to level 4 for starters. You'll unlock this level 2 backpack. After you get level 4, the only things you unlock for level 5 is, I believe, the Alton face mask and the level 5 chest rig. It's up to you whether you want to take that to level 5 or not off the bat. But definitely start with Spectre. You want to get him to level 5 as fast as possible because he sells all of your ammo, all of your attachments, all of your weapons, everything you need. And you have this stuff early game, you're going to be dominating. The last two traders are Merrick and Jiri. The only reason you want to upgrade Merrick is for grenades if you want to buy these, these RGO frag grenades. And he also has a smoke grenade that is a little better than the, you know, the Russian one. And then Jiri over here also sells some consumables. He's basically the exact same as the hospital. I think he it might actually be the exact same as the hospital. He also sells ammo crafting. So if you wanted to level up Jiri, you could get two in one with the hospital and Shiro ammunition, but I think his tasks are a lot more lengthy. All right, but anyways, back to the mission screen. The first tip to level up your traders is buy the DLC. I think it's 15 bucks for a DLC and you get all your traders at level two, the beginning of each wipe. It's a lot easier. Uh, or obviously, if you don't want to spend that money, I don't blame you. Then here are the missions that I personally run. So I always start with Spectre and Minty and then I'll go for Shiro after I complete those two. So starting with Spectre, if you're a player who's decent at the game and can get a lot of player kills in a single raid, then definitely go with kill five players without dying three times. It gives you almost 5,000 XP every time. And all you have to do is kill five players and three lives. Not that difficult. If you're more experienced at the game, I always get kill 15 players in five raids. It gives you almost 20,000 XP. And it's basically just get three kills per raid. I definitely would go island for this task. Probably not going to get too many kills on silo since there's only six people. But depending on your skill level, you should probably get that one as well. Kill 25 players is decent if you're looking for an extra task. If you're solely focusing on Spectre, I would get this one as well. I not give a ton of XP, but you're allowed to die. You don't have any restrictions. As it says, you get 6,000 XP just for killing 25 players over time. Those are the three I typically start with for, for Spectre. Uh, these other tasks are okay if you want to combine... Like if you want to just only do Spectre, like you want to do five missions of Spectre at a time, you can have five missions at a time. If you just want to do Spectre, you can get some of these kill 10 players, but they don't give a lot of XP. And then a couple other good ones are kill 25 Fenix with SMG and five raids. That's pretty easy on silo. Get an SMG, kill five Fenix per raid, and then you get 8,000 XP. That You can knock that out pretty quick. You also get a decent amount of money, actually, so it's a pretty good task. And this is the only other task maybe worth getting if you want to try and get this task done it's kind of difficult to kill five people with the hunter 85 it's that little bolt action four shots per mag uh but you're not allowed to die if you die the, the task resets but you do get 14,000 xp so those five tasks are the ones i typically go with but these are the three that i typically start with because i'll pair these three with two minty tasks and you typically want to scroll down to the bottom and do these down here so these three tasks right here are the best for minty you kill 15 phoenix in three raids so that's five per raid uh not that difficult at all you get 5,000 xp i usually go with that one and then you have these two right here Kill five players in three raids or kill 10 players in seven lives. It's up to you which one you should go with, but I would recommend doing kill five players in three raids because once you do that, you can do it again and get 9,000 XP instead of only 5,700 XP. So this is what my tasks typically look like per raid or per however long it takes me to do these. And then basically all you have to do is kill players and Phoenix and you'll level up pretty damn fast. The only other thing for Minty is these collect tasks. If you can find these items, like, I don't know, two walkie talkies, for example, you get 4,000 XP. Uh, never have these tasks started while you're in a raid though. Just free up a task slot from your current missions. So let's say, I, I don't know, we'll cancel that one. Then we'll go back to Minty and accept, collect two walkie talkies for 4,000 XP. We'll accept that. And then as you see, I have a bunch of these radios stashed up. So then you just chuck them in the conveyor and you want to click turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in. And boom, that's a task done. I think it pays like eight grand. So we actually still got a decent amount of money for those radios and we get a task done. So there we go. And then I'll just go back to, let's kill five players in three raids. There we go. And that's it.
that's it for my Spectre and Minty. So if you want to level up these other traders, say you already got Spectre and Minty leveled up, I typically go for Shiro afterwards and same kind of task. Kill 10 players in three raids is really good for XP, but also a little bit difficult. But I'll typically grab this one, kill five players with FMJ, although you're not allowed to die. So if you want to take the risk of not dying, grab these kill five player tasks. Uh, typically just gonna go with FMJ unless you have AP lying around. And then if you got more space for tasks, just start racking up some of these other random ones. He doesn't have a ton of good tasks. He has like three that are actually decent. Those are the ones I typically run. Uh, then with Jiri, if you want to level up Jiri over here, the Euro Mart, uh, do this task right here. Complete five raids without dying. You get 10,000 XP and don't die and you'll get the task done. This task sucks, I think. Yeah, that, that's not a great task. 8,000 XP. Collect 25 spoons is also a terrible task. Don't do that. Collect 15 ravioli cans. These just kind of aren't worth it. I wouldn't do those. Kill seven players with a Makarov, but you're not allowed to die. That's a really difficult task. Uh, this task gives you 31,000 XP, but it's obviously really difficult. So do that at your own risk. I would just, if you want to play it safe, do these uh, complete raids tasks. Uh, same thing with the hospital. Just do these complete raid tasks. Uh, this one still gives you 66,000 XP, but the devs nerfed the money because I made a video about it. This task was really OP before, so they fixed it, but it still gives you a lot of XP if you want to level up your, your hospital for whatever reason. Yeah, choose whatever tasks you want from here. Uh, there's not really a point in leveling up the hospital unless you want to unlock more food items, but I have never seen anyone do that in my life. Last is Merrick. This is what gets you additional grenades. You get a smoke grenade and a frag grenade. If you have GPUs lying around, GPUs give you 10,000 XP. Or a car battery will give you 10,000 XP. A hack tool gives you 3,300. I haven't even seen a hack tool in months. Have y'all seen hack tools in the game? I think they're gone. That's about all the missions. Just focus Spectre, Minty, Shiro, and the other ones. If you want to level them up, uh, just look for some decent tasks. That's my insight on all that. But like I said before, I'm going to try and level up my Minty and Spectre to level five. But we're just going to run these three tasks right here. Or again, if you're a less experienced player, I would recommend not going with all these kill player tasks. And instead, maybe just grab some more passive tasks like this one here, or maybe some of these kill player tasks that don't have any restrictions, but they're gonna give you a lot less XP. So it's completely up to you. This is what I'm gonna run with. I'm gonna quickly go through all of the different traders and what they sell in case you're completely new to the game. Uh, otherwise, if you know what you're doing, just skip ahead if you wanna watch the gameplay. Basically never sell to the Merchant of Death. He's pretty much useless right now. You wanna sell any armor, armor modules, backpacks, helmets, night vision, that sort of thing. You wanna sell it to Minty. Any magazines or ammo or ammo powder, brass, all that sort of stuff, sell to Shiro. And then Merrick is going to be all of your valuables that you find. So for example, these wallets right here can have a lot of money. It ranges from like $2 to like $100,000, sometimes even more. You want to sell those to Merrick as well as radios, these moe heads. It's literally like all of this junk you see right here. You want to sell it to Merrick. And then the hospital, you just want to sell your meds, used meds. That's about it for them. And Spectres, of course, your guns and attachments and that sort of thing. Sell to Spectre for the most money. And then jiri if you got any food laying around or drink items or canteens whatever sell it to jiri for the most money anyways that's that i'm gonna hop into some raids you also don't have to come completely kitted for these raids uh you should probably grab some decent gear because a lot of these tasks involve not dying but we're gonna start with a deagle then we'll up our gear a little bit probably want to do island if you're doing this task set i would go for island there's way more players you're probably gonna get more pvp if you know where you're going like you know just go to research and just go to research center and you'll find like every player in the game and then you just gotta you just gotta kill them all and you'll get xp all right that was way too much talking for me holy shit hope that little explanation helps some of you uh with your traders but i don't know how i just talked for that long i can't do it man but anyways we're back in the game now uh, we spawned at the church which is good there's not a ton of players over here but when i spawn at church what i always do is go down here down the street and there's usually a guy he's either going to be pushing towards me or towards the prison uh, he spawns basically right behind those rocks there yep there he is see he literally just loaded in and now he's dead uh <laughs> so <laughs> that's a good you know a good spot to get a player killer right off the bat and i don't think he really had much so i'm not gonna go and loot him I don't want to waste too much time. We got to get these kills. That's one kill down for our tasks. Research and prison are the island's hotspots. That's where pretty much everyone will go to get loot or PVP, depending on what they want. But I've seen research has been a lot hotter lately. That's where I'm going to go with this deagle. What we got in the box? A 1911. Wow. Okay, so other player spawns in this area. Honestly, there's not too many along these hillsides. Probably won't encounter players right here too often. Oh, shit. That's just a scav. Oh, I can't hit his ass. There we go. And we do need scav kills as well, so we can't forget that. We need five per raid, so you gotta make sure you're... Also, if you pause your game, go to missions, you can see all of your mission progress. We got a little bit of progress on all these, but... Oh, shit. 
the garage. Ah, there's a player shooting at me with a big gun. Woo! Oh wow, what the hell? Look at him walking on the on nothing. I don't think I'm gonna hit him. See, in this case, you probably want to disengage, but I'm an idiot. Yeah, no. Um, this is a situation where you run. Oh, someone's getting shot at. Oh shit! Hello. All right, there's two scabs down for the quest. Holy shit. So you gotta watch out, man. People just roll up on you. We're coming along pretty nicely for one raid. All right, this is where people always are hanging out. They're gonna be up in that loot room or nearby. So you should not do what I'm doing and run out in the open where everyone's gonna be watching, but I'm gonna do it anyways. All right, if you want scav kills, there's obviously a hot spot for them. There's one right here. Just tanked two deagle shots. Ow. Ooh. There we go. I think that's four scabs down, so we're we're coming along nicely. Uh get this med shot. Boom. So oh. this guy just ran in on me. Okay. Ooh, damn. Five scabs down. We're on pace. So if you're doing this set of tasks for all the player kills and stuff, just important to focus more on the PvP, less on the looting aspect. Oh my god. Hope they didn't see me. Oh shit, I think they saw me now. Wait. Okay, we're gonna back up, go back inside, and we're gonna get on the roof. Or, are those windows right there? Yeah, we can get in these windows, hold up. You're fighting these guys like this, don't peek the same spot, because they obviously know where I'm at now, but they have no idea I'm peeking through the window. Okay, I just missed like every bullet. But the point is, they still don't know where I'm shooting from. Okay, I got one. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. There's one behind me. Okay, so we died. But that's okay because we made a lot of progress on our tasks. But we didn't do like amazing that raid. So because of that, I went ahead and canceled this task here. Kill 15 players in five raids. It's a difficult task. If you're not experienced in the game, I wouldn't do that one. Especially because I only got two kills that raid. We were not on track to complete that. So I went ahead and canceled it. Because I'm going to grab this task right here. Kill 25 Fennex with SMGs. I'm going to grab a PP Bison. This one gives you 8,000 XP, which is not bad at all. We're going to accept that. These tasks are a lot lighter. These are a lot easier. They're very doable on silo with just a pp bison or if you don't have the pp bison uh go with the mp40 even the mat 49 is not a bad option we just have to get one or two player kills a raid and then five phoenix kills per raid so we're going to missile silo now and we're going to focus mainly on scav kills but we still want like a player kill or two if you're watching this video but you're completely new to the game i recommend you watch my other guide that is a lot more in depth with like the mechanics and the maps of the game that'll help you improve on hey, an mp5 that's stuck in the ground that'll help you improve in the game and then you can watch this one to help you with some of the tasks but there's always some scabs in the garage not always actually but usually you gotta be kind of fast on this map i'm gonna make sure this office guy doesn't come out and sometimes you get scab kills like right there they just walked away though so there's always two scabs in this room. Always. See, there they are. There's two there. Gotta watch this elevator. Two more scabs in the elevator. Oh, it's already five scabs down. Easy. I think there's a player down there, too. So, uh... Oh, another scab. Holy shit, man. I heard a grenade, so I wanna watch out. Alright, coming down here, there's usually a scab down there. I think they already aggroed upstairs, though. There's always scabs in the tunnels as well. Either down here, if they're not down there patrolling, they'll be all the way, and they're not here. Okay, that's weird. And okay, now that I got my scab kills though, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go for PvP as well. However, there's always like a shit ton of scabs in this silo here. The one walking above me. There you are, buddy. There's another scab kill. Oh, honestly don't know how the hell that guy's alive or how he killed me, but it's fine, because we got seven scav kills so yeah if the player kills aren't for you just do those uh you know kill fennex tasks this one for specter this one for minty they both give you a lot of xp but uh that's that's the basics man that's that's the basics of the task it's honestly completely up to you those are the i think i highlighted all of like the good tasks that you can choose from and then from there it's completely up to you because a lot of these tasks just like suck like kill 15 fennex with assault rifle 1200 xp just it's just not worth it when you could be doing you know this task here kill 25 fennex in five raids and you get 8,000 XP, you know, 
There's some tasks that just completely suck in this game. Hell, you could even just go in naked. Look, I got nothing on me. But we're still gonna try and do these tasks. I think we can finish this one, this one, and this one in one raid. But we just need two player kills. Okay, we have jack shit. Spawn in here, there's gonna be a scalp on our left. Probably, maybe, perhaps. Yeah, oh, jeez. What the hell? Okay, there we go. There's a scav kill. There we go. Whoa! Holy shit, that scared the piss out of me. Look at all the scavs down there, man. Easy scav kills! Easy scav kills, easy tasks. Hello, office brother. Oh, jeez. Okay, we failed, we failed two of the tasks, but we don't talk about it. Look, we did one of them. Hey, look at this, 218,000, 223,000. Just like that, we got some XP. You know what, if you fail them, you have some bad raids like I did, just just get them again, keep going. But yeah, that is my mediocre trader guide. I'm sure there are better ones out there. I'm not gonna lie, that was, that was a very scuffed guide, but I hope you got some, you know, I hope you got the idea. Basically, if you're good at the game, do the kill player task, respect your minty. If you're not that good at the game, do some of the Fenix kills or the collect items tasks or the survive raids tasks. You get the point. But I hope that helped some of you. I know you wanted to see uh, my personal take on all the trader guides. A lot of you have been asking. That's it. It's not great, but I hope it helps. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Boop.